Okay, I'm going to create a new pick now and run that new code that I have in add pick. I'll enter the name of a pick and I'm not going to bother filling in the rest of the data here because I just want to see if the feed is going to work. So I will add the pick. We're adding it to the main database. We are also executing that little chunk of code that will build the feed. And I'm going into add remove my pick so that I have it on my list of my picks automatically after I have added it to the main database. And in fact that was the chunk of code that makes it possible see here it is ABC test it's on my picks that little chunk of code is what made it possible for me to so easily add the news feed because as soon as I added that record I immediately retrieved it by name in order to get the ID of the record I had added the ID of the record was going into add remove my picks and it also goes into the pick ID for the news feed now before we're finished we have to make a couple of adjustments in browse.php okay here we are in browse picks and this has the same structure as all of the other files my picks friends picks and so forth and I'm unloading the parameters that are passed in when this file is called most of the time these are the parameters that are used for pagination which row do I start retrieving when I do the retrieve for the specific page? Most of the time, nothing is passed in for the first call except the base URL if I want to have pagination. I don't have any of these other values. So I have not yet had pick ID passed in. I've added pick ID so that if it is passed in to browse picks, then I will go and retrieve that specific pick ID. The rest of the code is in here, but we hadn't unloaded it from the request before. So if I come down, you'll see here that I need to put pick ID into a local variable from the array where I've unloaded it. And this is the array of params that's going to be passed in to get from database and render. What I had to do is to check and see if pick ID is set. That means I want to retrieve one specific pick, only one. So instead of saying browse, I want to say one, and I will pass in the parameters, and I will get that individual pick. So I've just added this if statement down here, and the choice that if pick ID is passed in, that's what I will get. Browse picks was set up in the beginning to be able to handle retrieving just one pick. Uh, and you'll see there are some other tricks it has up its sleeve. We have other choices that we can play on. So browse picks is now done and we have to make it match lib.php. There's a couple of minor changes that we need over in lib.php to make everything work here. In get from database and render we have this big switch statement with cases here and we have this case called one which is already set up and it's designed to handle the case that we're calling now of getting one ID. The only thing that we have to do is we have to make certain that we are unloading the pick ID from the parameters array that is passed in and here's the code to do that. So everything is now in place and that link in my news feed should now be working. Let's take a look at it. I'm looking at my wall in my profile and lo and behold I have added this news item I've added I picked up the name of the pick that I entered ABC test on Main Street picks I can comment on it I can say I like it I don't like it and I can find more information this is that last the thing that we added the action link that has the link to the specific pick that was just added I click on find more info you can see up here I'm going to browse picks with the ID number of the pick that I'm using and I come in here and we'll go back and complete the cycle we have here we could select other data but here's ABC test and the minimal location that I entered so now we have let me go back to my profile what we have here is the ability to create news stories simple stories that can 
appear in my news feed and in my friends' news feeds, and there are links in them so that people can see what I'm doing and can comment on them and find more information about what I'm doing. This is a critical part of Facebook. It's one of the ways you integrate with Facebook itself and let the people using your apps interact with their friends. In wording the stories that are going to appear here, you should make them as specific and interesting as possible so that people have an idea what's going on. 